and within 30 seconds, you have a website. It basically takes a picture of that and it immediately writes the code. Now, 75% of the people who use it a lot say about 100% increase in efficiencies. And Google says, we're not worried about ChatGPT, we're worried about the open source. She and I talked for half an hour about how it was to live with Napoleon. It is a virtual agent in the background. You don't, you don't have time, you need to start working on it now. It was the most comprehensive AI presentation that I think I've ever seen. Technology takes a while, but it goes really fast. 61% says much better products, much better quality. And 50% says way less boring. The people who do use it say, fantastic. The people who don't use it, extremely worried. 75% of the people who use it a lot say about 100% increase in efficiencies. If you basically listen to the voice, they can figure out if you have Parkinson way, way, way ahead before there are any symptoms. Now we use it for uh, DNA research, for proteins, and the most exciting networks which are there, they are open source networks. And Google says, we're not worried about ChatGPT, we're worried about the open source. I love ChatGPT 3.5 much more than 4. Because on the left side, it says, okay, give a list of books which Vincent Everett's friend Watcher wrote. And I get a whole bunch of nice books. The Day After Tomorrow, How to Survive the Times, The Internet of Women, Accelerating Culture Change, Disruption, How a Startup. Beautiful books which I really would like to have written, but I never did. 4.0 says, ah, Vincent Everett, he can talk a good game, but he never wrote a book. And then you can say to GPT, okay, this code, write it in, in the new language. And it completely understands what you're doing, and it saves you so much work, and you can get so much done. You take a picture, and you say, what colors are those? Write all the code which these colors are, so that I can basically make a menu which is perfectly uh, in state in that. Next thing we use every day, email. Every time you have to do a reply, you can basically click on that uh, little blue thing on the back and it says, um, tell me I'm coming, I don't, need a, I don't need a dressing room, can you send a program? And it will write an email for you, taking everything into account what you've done. Within three months, it will be everywhere. I mean, you won't be able to avoid it. This is just to get used to it before it will be showering on top of you. Tell me what's hot in low code in the low code world. What is it what we should really should know um, before we go home uh, about AI and low code? Okay, so now it's uh, hearing me and it's coming with the invitation. Let me put the sound up. It's geweldig om te horen dat je op een low code conferentie bent. Sorry, talk English. I have default you in Dutch, but talk English because otherwise everybody will be confused. Of course, Vincent. I'll continue in English. If you have any questions or need information about AI and low code at the conference or anything else, feel free to ask. How can I assist you further? Okay, I just asked you, uh, we're at the end of the conference and we want to know what we should do in the next two weeks to basically learn everything about AI and low code so that we will have practical skills to continue with this. That's a great initiative, Vincent. To learn more about AI and low code in the next two weeks and gain practical skills, here's a step-by-step -step plan. One, online courses. Start with online courses. Websites like Coursera, edX, and Udemy offer a wide range of courses on AI and low code. Look for beginner level courses to get started. Two. Hey, sorry, that is basically, uh, that's American shit and we are in Holland. Uh, so basically talk English, but tell me what we can do in the Netherlands. And, uh, and that's a lot more, we want it a lot more practical. I understand, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> she's much my nicer colleagues. than my wife. My she's she's really, she's Let's really focus cool. on practical steps you can take in the Netherlands to learn more about AI and low code. Yesterday, I just wanted to, have, I didn't <laughs> want to talk about AI. I just wanted to talk about business. I said, hey, you are the sister of Napoleon. And I'm talking to you as if you're the sister and I'm having a conversation with you how it was to live with Napoleon. She and I talked for half an hour about how it was to live with Napoleon. And it asks you all kinds of questions and it basically says, oh, what kind of process do you have? Are they internally, are they externally? Do you want this, do you want that? Do you want security here, there? And you can talk for it for half an hour. And after that you say, okay, please summarize it in a plan of concept. A commissioner of police, he said, Please, ChatGPT, compare all the laws of the different countries, say what we have in common, say what we have different, and if we want to work together, 
give us a framework how we can do that. In about an hour, he had that written. Three different pieces of law. Agent TPT is not question, ask, ask question. No, this is say, go uh, online and do something for me. So for example, I use ChatGPT to say, okay, go to, go to Discord, Telegram, Twitter, um, and, uh, and LinkedIn and log in with my credentials and find everybody, anybody in my network who knows something about crypto and automatic trading and basically say that I would like to talk to them. So it basically goes in and it checks it. It writes all the code itself. So it writes codes and then it basically tests if it works. If it doesn't work, it repairs itself. So it is a virtual agent in the background. It's really cool, really scary because there are also going to be millions and millions of these robots basically going around the internet and doing all kinds of things, you will say, I do not want to talk to this AI from Microsoft. I want to talk to the AI who knows who I am, who knows what I like, who knows what I don't like. You have AI for yourself, you have AI for your team, you have AI for the company, and it's trained on different levels of, uh, of data. If you have this app and uh, you download it and you look at it for one minute, it will look at the skin here and it will look at the color, uh, colors of your skin. And AI has figured out uh, first your heartbeat, then your stress level, then uh, your uh, blood pressure, then your cholesterol. If you are into 3D, you make a little video and then bang, you have a uh, co computer edit uh, design uh, model. This is the most low code website I've ever seen. It's called Durable, just fun. You make one line of uh, what kind of business you want to have and where you're located. And within 30 seconds, you have a website. It finds all the illustrations. It finds all the nice uh, head, 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 uh, the headings. It finds all the, um, all the things. It also already found you clients who give you referrals. Every time I go on a talk, it automatically, it automatically comes with me in my agenda. It finds out, it's, it logs in. It basically says, oh, this is positive. This is negative. This is a transcript. This is a summary. Is anybody ever busy with PDF files. You can basically talk about it, saying, so okay, I have this pro rail, uh, this pro rail, um, I'm stating um, <laughs> tender. And uh, what about the financial stuff? Uh, what kind of conditions? What about security? What about this bank? You can just go into chat, into the chat mode. What you can do here, you make a photo of, an, of a letter and it basically says, from who is this letter? What's in it? Oh, you have to, what, do, what do I need to do? And it basically summarizes it. This is really wonderful for Americans. I mean, this is so cool. When can you park here? <laughs> school days, non-school days, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it was, it will just say, you can park here one hour starting at 4 p.m. And this is also wonderful. I mean, this is, look at this. You say this picture and say, what the hell is happening? Do you think that AI can figure this out? They send a picture and it basically describes everything and says, People do not understand, they don't understand each other. Made the sorry screen, no bank. It basically takes a picture of that and it immediately writes the code. I think we're going to a total different way to interact with computers. It will adapt to us instead of us adapting to all these screens. So yes, we'll use lots of different uh, modes. We'll use voice, we'll use uh, video. We may be able to say what we want and we'll be able to get it. You're in the right place, but you have to make major changes and you cannot wait like you in the back saying, I'm too busy, I don't have time for this. Can it just not go away for a year or two? Then we have time because we're in the middle of something big, but you don't, you don't have time. You need to start working on it now. You're at the right time, the right business, but you need to change. And I hope you will uh, having the inspiration to do that because it's also great fun. You have great tools to make it happen. Good luck with that. Some people also want to basically meet these tools in a nice, quiet way. And I also have, we just started a company for that AI quick start. And then you basically depend, we interview you and depending on who you are, what kind of jobs you have, you basically get a, a dashboard of what kind of tools you can use today. If you're in data, you want to play with Excel, so we have all kinds of tools. There's hundreds of tools and you need to listen in and uh, you need to learn in a very quiet way. If you're interested in that, drop me a line or just basically go to this AI Kickstart or AI Quickstart.no. It was the most comprehensive AI presentation that I think I've ever seen from kind of soup to nuts on all the capabilities that fall across all the different medium that was there. And the presentation style that you had was just outstanding. Like it was very encouraging and motivating, inspiring um, as someone that's in the industry.
je hebt zo ongelooflijk veel inspiratie gebracht. Zoveel enthousiasme. Want ik heb nu ook weer enthousiaste van geworden. <laughs> Wij dachten dat we nog even tijd hadden voordat we echt met AI aan de gang moesten gaan. Maar uh, je hebt onze agenda aangepast. Ik heb het puntje van mijn stoel veel aantekeningen gemaakt. Ja, ik ben onder de indruk van jouw Spaanse accent. <laughs> Erg leuk om te zien. En uh, nee, zeer, zeer leuk. Oké, okay. en ben je een beetje aangezet tot actie? Zeker, nou, ik, uh, tijdens de presentatie heb ik uh, uh, ChatGPT app gedownload, die had ik nog niet. Ik gebruikte het wel, maar nog niet op mijn telefoon. Dus, ja. Groot verschil. Het uh, is al tijdens de dingen. En uh, je hebt me gemotiveerd om de betaalde versie te gaan nemen. Heel goed, dus, heel mooi. Uh, aan het einde van de dag, je bent op, maar gewoon, dit heeft me op, compleet opgeleverd. Ik heb dingen gehoord en ja, gewoon jaw-dropping, gewoon ongelooflijk, echt. Blown away. Ga je er iets mee doen? Ja, absoluut. Ik ga vanavond GPT-4 aanschaffen. Mijn telefoon is helaas leeg. Je zit aan de powerbank, hij is aan het opladen. Op het moment dat hij is opgeladen, ga ik ChatGPT-4 aanschaffen, ga ik aan de slag. Ik vond het een, een zeer boeiende, interessante uh, presentatie. Ja. Ik heb uh, behoorlijk mee zitten typen. Um, en ik ga er de aankomende twee weken, heb ik net uh, mijn eigen doel gesteld in mijn agenda, is even uh, zeer actief mee aan de gang. Ik ga er echt mee aan de gang. Ik ga er echt mee aan de gang. Heel mooi. Dan kijk ook even op uh, aiquickstart.nl. Ja, die foto heb ik net aan het einde nog gemaakt. Heel mooi.